He's coach Kapal Kanthabani. Now we welcome in the MVP, who again he gets that quick shower and he know. gets changed. <laughs> he knew he gets was up here on. again. He knew. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great line. Did you hear what coach what just said? He said he needed help from two people to get their skinny jeans on. <laughs> That is a great line. <laughs> all good ones. Ethan Christensen joins us here on the All Access Post Game Show. First of all, congratulations on everything on Offensive Player of the Year, on being champions of the MAC Commonwealth. Are you going to have room on like your mantle for all of these things when you get to the end of the month? I think we can make room. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably one more trophy you'd like to add to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There'll definitely be a space for that. <laughs> Ethan, uh, tonight, I joked, I think on the fourth goal, I said, I think that was a flat out heat check. I felt <laughs> like that was one where you're like everything's falling I gotta see can you admit to whether or not that might be the case uh it definitely it might have been a heat check but <laughs> we, we we just knew going into the game we had to shoot to good spots uh going against the Mac goalie of the year we knew he was going to be a great player even though um he's, he's he did a lot on his own the defense wasn't helping him out too much but um he really is a great player and we just knew we couldn't take him lightly we couldn't treat this team lightly so on offense we just knew we had to place our shots to the best spots in order to go up early you were doing that. You were doing that all right. You were doing that all right. Talk about the chemistry of this team right now. Uh, I mean, just I'm going to speak from the offensive span standard first. Um, on offense, we, our chemistry has just been unbelievable from the start. We knew that we were such a close group, and everybody really just bought into the process. Um, we changed the offense a little bit, but we really it just really clicked for us real well. Um, a lot of communication on and off the field, a lot of film room, a lot of chalkboard talks, just a lot of, it's a lot of work that goes into the, into the game itself, but a lot of it happens outside the game and off the field. What does it take to translate this, Ethan, the way that you guys have been playing of late? How do you translate this now to go, likely going on the road, having to play another one of the best teams in the country as you get into the NCAA tournament? What does it take to duplicate what you've been doing in the conference against those teams? I mean, we can't slow down. We have to continue to bring the energy on offense. We have to continue to keep moving the ball efficiently and just putting in goals and shooting to good places like we have. And the defense has been playing outstanding. They've been doing their part. Mark's been doing well. Uh, all three of our close defensemen have just been playing really well. So I mean, when we're communicating and we're clicking on all cylinders and just uh, minimizing the turnovers, we really can be a dangerous team. They really are relentless, that defense, too, man. Like, they are wearing guys out. Yeah. You can just tell. It is – guys are getting frustrated really quickly because they do not let up whatsoever. I mean, we get frustrated in practice because they <laughs> – we, we definitely see it so we know how the other teams feel. But, I mean, they've been, they've been playing out of their mind, getting the ball up, the, up and down the field in transitions. We don't have just our short sticks doing it. We have Dom and Dylan run up the field creating transitions. So that will be a dangerous – just part of our game uh, transition goals in the playoffs will definitely uh, help and just take a little ease off the offensive back all right this is uh, importantly you over the last four to six weeks like you've been a good player for a long time but the last four to six weeks you've been out of your mind <laughs> Is there anything that you've been doing? Any sort of like, you know, little maybe what you've been eating every day? <laughs> Eat your Are you any morning. any superstitions at all that maybe we need to make sure continue because it's been unreal this Do you stretch. Have or a pregame ritual? Yeah. Um, I mean, I like to get my rips in before the game uh, as many as I can, but um, really just getting a good night's sleep. Uh, I don't I don't really do too, not anything too superstitious. I'm not changing up my tape job. Um, I mean, I like to dress up nice. You look good. You feel good. You play good. So that's maybe one thing. But he's not. Again, he's not superstitious. He's just a little stitious. <laughs> that, we all know that. Just like you. All right. Uh, shout out your grandparents. Yeah, grand, my grandparents. I know they're both watching. Actually, I have my dad in Colorado right yeah, now. So <laughs> he's watching. My mom's home watching, holding down the fort. Uh, I think my brother's watching, my girlfriend's watching, but uh, I think that covers everyone. We know the girlfriend's watching because he has to get changed before he comes up here. <laughs> we know that's the case. Ethan, congratulations on everything. An you. unbelievable stretch for you, and best of luck in the NCAA tournament. Thank you. I appreciate Good it, job. both of you. He is tournament MVP, Matt Commonwealth Offensive Player of the Year, Matt Commonwealth Champion, and just all-around good dude, Ethan Christensen. Appreciate it. Very smart. smart. No smart question about that.